wanted to start by just thanking you for setting aside the time for the next couple of days to, to have the discussions. And um, from my point of view, uh, I know it has been that thanks to the UNCDF, there has been, you know, uh, several areas of cooperation. It's amazing that uh, the regulators can come uh, together and meet the people that, you know, are consuming their, their regulation. And that, that has really helped and open uh, communication between the regulator and, and this fintech. We want to have institutions that is sustainable in the market. So if we don't request a minimum capital requirement, we end up having institutions that exist within one week. I am here in this two days training on behalf of my, our product called Cashless. Which, we, it, which is a fintech product. Once we, we got the invitation, we were very eager, eager to, to come and learn about uh, the procedures uh, to be licensed because, as of course, as a fintech, uh, we, you have to come across with uh, regulations. When we have this kind of training, we collect feedback. We, we are able to identify gaps in our regulations. So as a regulatory body, we, we are going to grow our regulations and accommodate the fintechs better. We are going to put provisions that can help them better. So this is part of the process to grow as regulators, but also as, as fintechs uh, to understand better what we do. Uh, this is a really great interactive session and very informative. I have learned a lot and now at least I know what do I need to do and what do I need to focus on so that once uh, the time for regulations will come, I will be much ready. We focused the last two days on the policy and regulation, so it was interesting to see commitment from the different regulatory bodies. It's quite unique for Rwanda, to Rwanda because in a number of other markets, what you see, uh, it's not as easy to have the regulators, especially multiple regulators, in one room saying we're gonna, we are going to designate office hours or open office hours for more interaction. I think we are likely to see even a new players into the ecosystem because the more you signal that you are embracing and you are ready to engage with innovation, you are opening up the market for even some of the foreign um, startups coming into the country.